when you want to light the number one, you decide either this end or that end. It's up to you, the designer. You can make it the first two or the last two. The number two. The number three. Four. Five. Six, is that's up to you now, six. You could make the six, or what? Or you can do this. You decide which way you want it. Seven, eight, obviously all eight of them. And nine, you wanna put that little piece at the end? You can. And that's how you make your numbers. You tell them which one to light based on the combination. Now, it's A, B, C, D, E, F, G. These are called the little pieces. I just let's look at them and see so I get them to an order. It doesn't really matter, but to stay with it, I think A, B, C, D, E, F, G. The G is the bottom one, but it really doesn't matter how we label them. Yep. So this is A, B, C, D, E, F, and this is the G. So you have multiple, you have actually, since you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, you have nine. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, here we go. So we should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten different outputs. So I'm gonna have four letters to control that. Uh, let's use X, Y, and Z. W, X, Y, and Z. Because F, these are my inputs. W, X, Y, and Z. And that's gonna make all the numbers? Well, it should be, plus more. That's four inputs. How many two to the four? 16, you only got 10 here, right? So the A. B, these are the outputs, C, D, E, F, G. If you put zero, 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 which one you wanna light? <coughs> zero, 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 that's equivalent decimal is what? The number zero, and the number zero is gonna be all of them except what? G, right? So you want all of them to be on except G. If your inputs are zero, 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 one. Zero, 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 one, that's equivalent to number one. Now again, we're gonna decide if you type in one, do you want it B and C or E and F? Which one? You're the designer. Yes. B and C, okay. Zero, zero, one, zero. That's equivalent to what number? Two. Two. So you want F and C to be off. F and C. If you type zero, zero, one, one, that's a three. You want F and E off. F and E off. Zero, one, zero, zero. That's equivalent to four. A is off. E is off. E and D. A, E and D. Uh, zero, one, zero, one. Five. B and E are off. B and E. Six. Six is what? Six will be everything except B. 
seven, A, B, and C are on. Eight. Eight, all of them are on, right? Nine. Almost all of them except what? E. And now what about 10? What about 11? What about 12? 13, 14, 15. What do you want to do? Can't. Yeah, you can't. It's a single digit. This is where the don't care come in, when we say don't care. You're the person designing that. What do you want it to do? Now, me personally, I'll make it write the letter E for error, if I was designing that. You might decide you want to do what? Eight. Or maybe you might decide I'm going to do this. We know it's not a number, but people will think oh, something is not right there. Or maybe write something like we never wrote, freaky, I don't know. What is that? So you can decide if you end up at a stage you shouldn't be there, what do you want the system to do? Now if I decide to do E, like this one, that means A, F, G, E, and D are on, right? A, B is out, C is out, and the rest are on. So I'm the designer, I can pick and choose what I want. I could have made it go like this. Freak people out. Then they know something is not right. So the circuit you and I are going to design is called the seven segment LED driver. When you buy these seven segment, I have them in the lab. It's about this big. I got the big one. I don't know why I never built them actually. But I can design a circuit in the front that by playing with the switches, zero, 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 I can decide which one to be on. You'll see why I never built this in the lab in a minute. I have to get a 4 by 16 decoder. So I have to get a 4 by 16 decoder for this. And let me make it really big. Here we go. How many inputs? Four input. How many outputs? 16. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And my chip enable. If I want to build this in the lab, I will need how many OR gates? I need one for the A, one for B, one for C, one for D, one for E, one for F, and one for G. How many is that? Seven. Seven. I made my OR gate really big. Because how many pins are going to be attached to it? It's going to be one where? At zero, at two, at three, at five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So there's only what? How many out? Only one and four are not attached to it. So for A, one and four. All the way to 15, all of them attached. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, all attached to A. We don't have 
a 14 input OR gate. I will need probably two circuits of four and four, that's eight, eight and eight. I need three chips, each one of two four inputs just to make that gate alone for A. I need one for B. For B, let's look at it. Maybe we're in better shape for B. Not really. It's the same. Room. Well, no, the bottom half is all zeros. You know, once I hit that 9, uh, 10, 11, that's a zero. So that's a little bit better. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9. I need one for C. C again is going to be one and two. Three is out. Four, five. Six, seven. Six, seven, eight. Nine. And that's it. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I do the same thing for D, the same thing for E, the same thing for F, the same thing for G. And I have now my seven segment LED driver. It is a pain, 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 this way of doing it. It's not gonna be that pretty. If you decide to do the K map and simplify each one, probably might be easier and less gates. You do one for A, one for B, one for C, one for D, and you attach them. But that circuit we're building, we take the A's, now we attach that A to this one, we attach the B to this, we attach the C to this, the D, the E, the F, and the G. And as I'm playing with the switches, I should be able to turn them on the right way. We won't do this for a lab, I can guarantee you. <coughs> My, I bought them intentionally to build them, and then I saw the circuit, like, forget it. What this actually might be better, notice there's not many zeros in it. If we get a 4 by 16 decoder, that gives you the value of zero. That'll be a better choice, because for this one, for A, how many wires do you have to attach? Just two of them. For B, one, two, and about five of them down here, or six of them here. That'll be a little bit for B. C, the same thing. One, and five more, that's six, but the rest of them, one, two, and three here. One, two, three, four, five, six here. One, two, three, four here. Uh, one, two, three here. So if we get actually a four by 16 decoder that has a bubble at the end of it, the number of inputs going to the gates will be a lot less. And that'll be a better choice. Because we have more ones than zeros here. To connect all the ones is gonna be a nightmare. So what about if I wanna build this and I don't wanna do a K-Map and I don't wanna do this. Is there any other devices on the market that I can use? <coughs> 